But that's not the fire generating all this haze in our area. It's due to two major fires in Arizona, mainly the Telegraph fire you can see now at more than 50,000 acres. Meteorologist Kelly Franson joins us now. Kelly, look at all that smoke moving in from this time lapse we have. What's the latest status on the air quality? It is much better now than it was earlier today. As you take a look from our KOAT cam uh, looking toward the Sandias, it was really hard to make out the mountains through all that haze and smoke earlier today. So this is a much better picture. As we bring in the numbers, we're 89 right now at the Sunport. Visibility is at 10 miles. We spent most of the morning with six mile visibility. Now, as we look at the air sensors around town, we are in the orange, which is unhealthy for sensitive groups. So still some air quality issues, but we spent Spent most of the morning and part of the afternoon in the red, which is downright unhealthy. So we have seen improvement. That being said, we are expecting a little more smoke to move in. So the smoke has thinned and actually pushing toward northeast New Mexico, but we're still watching those large fires in Arizona and fires in the Gila as well. That's going to bring more smoke in a little different trajectory than what we saw last night. Yes, it's going to move into Gallup and Grants, but then it looks like it's going to sink to the south, uh, south of I-40 towards Socorro, also places like Silver City and even and toward Deming could wake up to some pretty thick smoke in the morning. Kelly, thank you. The Department of Health today warning of heat related illness. Leaders say with high temperatures, you should stay hydrated in the shade and rest to reduce the risk. Be sure to watch out for dizziness, nausea and cramping. Now, when we tell you the air quality is not good for certain groups of people, here's what we mean. It's not just those with respiratory issues such as asthma, but those with lung cancer or lung and heart disease, adults over 65, as well as young children and pregnant women. Smoke also causes more severe reactions if you have COVID, so stay home and create a safe space for yourself. Even if you are not at high risk, thousands of New Mexicans are still breathing in unhealthy smoke particles as we wait for these conditions to improve. Reporter Stella Sun joins us live now in Albuquerque. And Stella, how's it looking out there? Hey, Ron, the visibility is definitely improving here in the metro, metro. And as Kelly mentioned, we can even see some of the Sandia Mountains behind me. There's a little bit of that hay still sticking around. Now, many of you, as you woke up, you couldn't even see the Sandias at all. And we spoke with experts to see how long we're going to be seeing these hazy skies. Check out this time lapse from the Sandia Crest Camp. You can see the smoke creeping into the metro during the night. It begins to sink, and by sunrise, meteorologists say smoke concentrations are at the highest near the ground in the early morning hours. Yes, yeah. we can't see the mountains anymore. How sad. Nikki and Bella Blue say they're cutting their plans short today because of the smoky skies. Meanwhile, others say it doesn't impact their agenda. It looks hazy. We don't notice the air quality or anything. The city of Albuquerque's meteorologist for the air quality program says the smoke is drifting into New Mexico from Arizona. It's coming from a couple of wildfires in southern Arizona. They are both relatively close together east of Phoenix and north of Tucson, the Mescal Fire and the Telegraph Fire. More than 100,000 acres have burned in the Mescal and Telegraph fires. Air quality is getting better, but the smoke may stick around for some. We may get a little bit more tomorrow, though the worst impacts are expected to remain south, just south of Bernalillo County. Now, experts, they are urging people with heart or lung disease, older adults and children to avoid exposure outdoors. They're also encouraging folks to do less strenuous activities such as walking, overrunning, so you don't breathe as hard. Reporting live here in Albuquerque, I'm Stella Sun, KOAT Action 7 News. All right, Stella, thank you. Bernalillo County residents can sign up for text message health alerts. Text ABQ Health to the number 226787.